Hey y'all, this is Andrew. Welcome back to Ginger Beard Aquatics. I'm here today to talk you through and show you through and explain to you my ideas for my 30 gallon cube. So let's get on into it. So here's the tank as you look at it from the front. Um, and I wanted this tank to be both a display aquarium, but eventually, hopefully, um, turn into a tank for profit, tank for breeding, um, albino, or not even albino, they'll be super red, bristlenose plecos. Um, so from this view, you really can't see anything. It looks like a very nice aquascape. I'll get into some of the stones and where I got everything and whatnot. Um, but if you come from my view, I usually sit here. I usually sit here and look at the aquarium. And from my view, this is what I see. And if you notice that bottom right hand corner, there is a pleco cave. And that pleco cave is for um, the plecos when I get some more of them for them to be able to have a spot to breed in. So there's two different utilities for this. There are two different utilities for this. From the front view, I've already got complimented on it from a couple of friends. It looks like a very nice young aquarium. But from the side view, you can see that it is also for breeding or set up to be able to breed. So it's sort of a hybrid tank. And you also will notice that it doesn't have just one filtration system on here. There's both an under gravel filter, which is in the upper left hand corner, and then the hang on the back where the sponge is. So I'm, uh, I'm going to see how the under gravel filters work um, with the planet tank because I know there's really not that much info on. Um, planted tanks with under gravel filters out there. So I'm hoping to see how this tank goes and what it will be like and how the plants do and if they do well, if they do poorly. So speaking of the plants, let's get into those plants. So the first plants we got here are some crypts up in the foreground. I got these from a pet shop when I was back in my undergraduate and he had no idea what the name of the species were, but I know they're crypts. I'd say maybe one dentii, but I'm not sure. Um, but they all melted back. That's the only old leaf that exists in this tank. And you can see that's a new leaf. And there's a little tiny baby leaf coming up there. And another little tiny baby leaf coming up there. And up there. And up there. And then it goes all the way back as well. And then we have some Anubius Nana. That is one of the little sprigs from the mother plant there. And then another offshoot sprig of the mother plant there. They are just, um, the roots in this one are buried into the substrate, whereas the roots in this one are dangling and it's just um, wedged into some of the crevices on that wood. And in the back, we have a nice Amazon sword plant. Um, there's a couple leaves that weren't doing well when I got it, um, but there are a new couple of new leaves coming up in the middle right in the dead center of the frame right now um, and in the back we have some Bacopa Carolina um, and those are starting to root out and they're actually setting off uh, new leaves so they're they're looking pretty good and the last one last plant that we have in here there's some uh, dwarf Sagittaria as you can see these leaves these taller leaves are from the older tank um, that didn't have very good lighting on it compared to the amount of uh, floating plants and whatnot. So the, the leaves got a little bit longer and slimmer, whereas the leaves that are coming up are fatter, and I'm expecting to say a little bit shorter. Hopefully this dwarf Sagittaria, along with the crypts, will fill out this entire front area of the tank and create a nice um, foreground that's planted and looks very good. And then hopefully the, the sword and the Carolina Bacopa um, will fill out as well. And I'll start planting some more of it up here um, to fill that out and to hide the heater and the filters back there. And then finally we have the stocking. Stocking, we have one male betta. He has a very interesting story of how I acquired him. If you uh, are interested in learning that, just drop a, a comment or like the video um, and we'll see you. We'll see about making a video to explain where this guy came from. And then I have four Harley Quinn Resboras, and I have one super red bristlenose pleco, who you can see his tail wagging underneath the, the bottom of that Anubius leaf. 
So I'm actually going to be going to my first Aquarium Club meeting um, down here uh, in Frankfurt. The closest one is in Louisville. And I'm hopeful that I'll be able to pick up um, some more fish to add in here, maybe even some more of those Harlequin Rasboras, um, or maybe some pencil fish or some other um, more passive uh, community fish. I used to keep um, cichlids, and I only have one tank now, and I want to try my hand at playing a tank, so this is the only tank that I have, and I think that I will have the duration that I'm down, which I'm perfectly fine with. I'm really excited to see how this fills in and how this grows and how this uh, project shapes together with an uh, undergravel filter planted aquarium with um, locally sourced rock and wood. So if you're interested in any of this or seeing how this is going to be going, um, hit that subscribe button, stick around to see more. Um, if you're not, you're not. It's all fine with me. I'll just keep on making them and have a fun time editing and sharing my story with those that want to hear it. So hope you guys all have a great day and peace out.